What's up guys? It's Jazz here. But you don't really care as we are burning mad and we are playing the knuckle stage in the Great Pyramid. I don't actually know if it's called the Great Pyramid, but now we have the ability to break steel containers and we're looking for the three keys to get further into the pyramid. I really like this uh, trio of levels even though we're only just seeing the third one of them all. Just because it uses all three of the characters and it makes sense why you're playing them all. Like, uh, Tails go is used to break the defenses and get in. Sonic is to get through the place nice quickly and in front of the map monitor. I don't know where that is, unfortunately. I don't know this map. Off my heart. Sorry. And then Knuckles is found to get them through, like, when they're stuck in the place. It's really nice. Anyway, the main mechanic of this place is you can teleport. Rubble between the red room and the green room. Great. Now I can find out where I am. Um... Yeah, that's the whole mechanic. There's a whole bunch of different rooms. Where is the map? There's one here. Okay, hold on. Between the red room and the green room. And it's a robot, so that way I would assume. Uh, maybe? I guess we'll find out. Bam! Thank you. Even though we literally just came this way, but hey, we go a little further this way. I mean, I'm expecting some sort of ringing soon. Hopefully. So this is the red room. I can tell. Just about. Alright, I can't go that way though. We're in the red room, we need to go right. Yeah, okay, that is right. But it won't let us because we need to hit the hourglass, which is out here. Right? I believe so. Oh, oh I don't need this Omo Chow. Please leave me alone. Oh. I must say though, I really love the sound effect of uh, Knuckles' feet on the steel. Like the da 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 here we are. Bam! Lovely. Goddess statue. That's probably in the main room, but I don't know. Um, yeah, at this point in recording, I have actually successfully had a lunch break. I have no idea where this is. Good lord. Um, I've had a lunch break. I've eaten my food. I'm a happy person. Follow the bug. Oh, wait, no. The bug? We have a, we have a, we have a bug? I don't remember there being a, there's a bug in Rouge's level in the pyramid. You know what? Never mind. There, dude. Gamma, get out of here. Dude! Wow, that was atrocious. Small room on the ceiling of the blue room. Okay. Oh, I wouldn't have got that. Uh, that that was weird. Can I... How do I get through these still things? Hold on. Like, I, do I just glide through them? No. You know what? I don't know. You gotta like the music here, though. Death chamber. Death chamber. Death chamber. Oh, I find it really entertaining. Right, we want to go on the other side of the world. Noted. I also really like uh, Knuckles' running animation, just because it, like, it just sort of lulls. I don't know another word for it. This is a bad camera, but, like, it just sort of... His limbs just go... There's just so many of them. Like, look at this. It's just like... I love it. It's a fun little thing. Here we go. I wonder what the script says for Knuckles' uh, voice acting to say that. Also, I believe there's a Chow team here? No, there's something here though. What is it? It's a secret guy. And the switch, I guess. Okay. Come on. Can I get through? No, I can't. No, dude. Don't homing attack. Okay, I'm apparently doing really badly. I do apologize. I'm not usually this bad at the Knuckles stages, but this time I'm making an exception for myself. This is also potentially death now. What do you do? I keep that still or something? I have no idea. Surely this is the blue room now. Yes, okay. Thank you. Somewhat in the right place. Top of the blue room. There's each of these main rooms always has a little container at the top here. There's a bunch of bugs. That's what we're supposed to be following. Oh, and I guess it's buried in one of them. Hmm. Oh, there's a higher bit. I didn't even notice. No, no, press the wrong button. Yeah, that's what we want along here. Oh, there's an even higher bit. I didn't even know that. Wow, I'm dumb. Cool. All right, let's make progress. Let's find ourselves another container between the four pillars. That's probably the main room. If I had to guess. Oops. I don't- I have a feeling I'm not gonna get the chow container in this place simply because I don't know where it is. Um, I would assume- oh, well, no, there we go, That's just, it just happened. I was gonna say maybe there's one in the main room. I assumed it would be behind a statue, but this works too. The room with the two flames. 
the red room? Hmm. Just tell me. Secret room that you can enter from the area next to the blue room. Great. Secret area. Were we there already? Two flames. I'm not sure. First things first, let's get to the blue room. I believe it's this way. Possibly. Oh, hello. Well, oh well, I'm fine. Blue room, blue room, blue room, blue room, blue room, blue room. Damn, how do I not get through that door? Am I going the wrong way? I'm on the opposite side of everything. Okay, fine. I did go the wrong way. Typical. If I can go through the red room, it's not not a major issue. Camera's a bit iffy, actually. I remember saying earlier that you just follow the camera and it'll work, but actually it's a bit skewed. Right. So it could be this next room here, a secret room. I think I might have gotten also just a bad placement of the keys because they're very far away from the sounds of things. Thank you. Ooh, this might be it. This might take us to a secret room. Nope. Alrighty then. Is this where it just was? No, no it's not. Hmm. Hmm. I've used all three hints as well, so... Okay, it's not here. It might be the other side. Yeah, that works too. I hope so. Otherwise, that means I've gone right the way around then. It's closer. Yep, there we go. Look at that. Just the right wrong way. I also actually don't want that curse emblem right now, I want the animals. Here we go. Give me these animals and... Chaos Emeralds. Nope. Chaos Emeralds. Freaking no. It would have been Master Emerald and even then, no, we're looking for the keys. Same thing. That was bad. Not too bad. Apparently it wasn't too bad. Maybe because of the rings. No, I only had two. Who knows? Huh? Who's there? Best boss battle! What the... A ghost? Well, now, what I really like about this, not only the music and the boss fight and just how it works, the voice acting is pretty great, for a start. I mean, listen to this. <laughs> And obviously his introduction of And when he stops and pauses, you gotta get around him. Light up everything with the hourglasses, which apparently weren't available when we were doing the main mission. Use your gliding and digging ability to get him out of the ground or wherever he is. You can actually do this in one hit, but I'm not gonna do that. Oh, dude, he doesn't even stop. Dude, there we go. And then when he's like that, you can come out and actually do damage to him while he's weakened with the sunlight. Nah, I can't do it in more than one. Gosh, what voice acting. But what I also really like is this song. It plays in two of these uh, boss battles, but this one's got a slight difference, not only because uh, it's got a slightly different instrument, but also it begins with someone literally whispering, Who's there? Which is really cool. Might even be Knuckles' uh, voice actor. I'd highly recommend it. Look up the uh, song. Uh, I don't know what it is, but the King Boom Boom song. Boom Boo song, not Boom Boom, as I thought as a kid. Um, but yeah, it's really cool. I like it, and I like how you can just very subtly hear who's there at the beginning. It just really adds that theming. If you try and go around the other way, he will turn around. Let's see if we can get this second hit on him. Probably, nope, nope, he's gone. Oh, I just thought, the voice actor must have had so much fun with this. Anyway, now that we're at this phase, he's gonna start chomping. Full speed, you're fine as long as you keep, uh, you know, not getting stuck on the wall, like I almost did. Beyond that, you should be good. I also really like, even though you've got this very obvious invisible wall, I just like how you can see Knuckles' full speed animation. Like, it's just so blobbery. Now, it's actually almost recommended to stitch on the invisible wall to make sure he doesn't turn around on you. You've got to keep him on the left side until he pauses to breathe fire. And then, obviously, you've got this guy here. Right. Come on, buddy. Wow, immediately? Nice. Very helpful of you. 
do you think I can get the second time this time? No, it ain't gonna happen. My control stick has like too far left or not enough. There's no in between that it will let me do. The GameCube control stick is a lot more sensitive and effective than this Steam controller, but oh well. He looked very, that was very weird. He was, he was like so leaned in, he looked like a different shape. That was weird to me. Uh, okay, cool. And you're gonna do it again. You always do double chomps. Oh wow, you just they're cut off early. All right. Oh man, this might be one of my favorite boss fights. It's just fun to do. I just really enjoy it. If I was only a little better, I might enjoy it even more, but oh well. Him and his gross little fish eyes are soon to be gone. That, that's another thing he does. He uh, switches it up so that he switches over as he's breathing fire. It's supposed to catch you off guard. I actually never heard the second half of that laugh before. Maybe it's a, uh, like this port, like the GameCube port maybe didn't have it as much. I don't know. And this one, I think he might actually just keep running, so he might just have to be lucky. Oh, wow, he's real slimy. No, 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 he does give us a bit of time. Just really not a lot. Bam! <laughs> what a hassle. What a hassle. <sighs> that was pretty rough. We did it! Let's go, Amy! Yeah! You little thieves. Did you really think eh? it was gonna be your eye? Come and get some, Eggman! Sonic! I'm bloody my speed! Just leave it to me! This time, I'll take my life. As well as the Chaos Emerald, I call on you to destroy these pests! Come out, my servant! Time for the other one of the best boss fights in the game. I really love the original organic classic boss fights, the, the supernatural ones as I call them, because the others are all rival fights and uh, robot fights. Uh, uh, I really like these kind of ones where it's big ghost guy, big statue guy, big, ooh, I'm not gonna spoil the other one. But you know what I mean, it's like, I don't know, it's really lovely. And it also, it has more into, like there's more to it because to get a hit, you have to do all this. To do platforming, you have to do Sonic specific stuff. It's more than just hit it three times, it's maneuver around it to hit it three times. I don't know, it just I really love these boss fights and it's really fun and you're getting out of your way, thank you. Anyway, he punches the platform. If he hits it too many times, the platform will die go away, but you're allowed to fall down here because there's rings, items, and quicksand, which as long as you keep jumping, you'll survive. Alright, and for whatever reason he likes to pause, or oh, just about when you've done a punch. He also starts pausing when you're actually on his back platforms. But anyway, then you use a whole series of homing attacks to get his big bad button. And again, the music is really good here. This is the same music as King Boom Boom, but I believe it's got an electric guitar in it now. Oh, it's still has the Who's There in it. Oh, I never noticed. That's cool. But now we've got intense electric guitar music, of cool. Anyway, now he starts doing two hands and his head. He's getting really uh, antsy about it all. Thankfully, that did not hurt us. Not that it matters, there's only 10 rings. But yes, now he's getting malfunction-y. Oh, he's also going to do a rolling attack. I forgot he does this. Get on a platform that's lower down. Um, I'm not sure if we've got one. Oh, yes, we do. Way over here. Nice. Now let's see if we can actually get to his back platform in time. Probably not. Oh, yeah, there we go. That gives us more time. The moment we're on him, he does pause for us. This is good game design like that. And final move. Final series. The electricity is very loud. And... Let him do his rolling. I'm just going to hit down here. Nice and safe. And... Hooah! Hui! Hoo woo! And ding dang dom dum! Nice try, Rocky!
This is the space colony where Eggman is hiding. It's Pikmin all over again. No. Is everyone all right? We should be landing oh, no. soon. The hatch doors don't are open. Sweat it, Knuckles. The only thing in the cargo bay are those what master emeralds. What do you mean, don't sweat it? Right? Land the Knock shuttle and off, let Knuckles. me out. We're gonna crash this thing if you keep that up. Oh no! Don't touch that lever! Voice acting. Quality. What's up with that knucklehead anyway? Trying to take over the shuttle. I thought we were toast for sure. Huh? Where did he go now? Looks like he bailed. This place looks deserted. Dusty too. This place was shut down about 50 years ago because of a terrible accident. The first Bernoulli spherical space colony, called ARC. When it was operational, it was the most advanced research center of its kind. But looking at it now... Now it's an abandoned ARC, wouldn't you say? There's not much time left before Eggman fires that weapon again. We've got to hurry. Let's find the cannon and destroy it. Yeah! Someone designed that weapon to be impenetrable from outside attacks. Its defense shields are super strong, so we have to find a way to destroy it Isn't from inside. Isn't that a Chaos Emerald? It looks like it, doesn't it? But in fact, it's a fake one I created after researching the real Emerald. It has the same wavelength and properties, but it's less powerful than the real one. It's designed to reverse the energy field inside the Chaos Emeralds and blow up. It looks so real, even a machine can't tell the difference. I'll find the power supply and destroy it. Sonic, you find the control room, okay? So the plan is, we'll switch the Chaos Emeralds when the machine is stuck, right? I hate you! You guys always leave me behind and have all the fun! Amy, we're talking about, like, the devastation of the world with, like, a device that can like, blow up the moon. This isn't fun. But you know what? You, you, you have your day in the sun one day, Amy. I don't know. Anyway, welcome to another Tales level. We're now out in space. This is the theme now. We've been to the streets. We've been to prison. We've been to the desert. Now it's time for space. There is no in-between. So let us go. All right, never mind. Let it go without us. That's better. I'll try not to we like whine the song too much. That was a major fault the last time I let's play this game. Obviously, uh, the uh, video never came out. In, in case I wasn't there, I imagine people worked that out by now. I made the let's play, never released it, um, and then I deleted it. I uh, think I made like either four or six episodes of this let's play when I did it way back ages ago. But I ended up deleting even though I really wish I'd kept it, as cringy and dumb as it was. It would have been nice to hear. Now here's a trap, you can't go forward unless you activate a switch back here. But if you hit the diamonds, then the guy will go, then you will get taken away. So I'm gonna activate it anyway, so the Omo Chow gets taken away. Goodbye! <laughs> right, let us go further forward. This is another trap? Yes, dynamite! Oh, somehow I didn't lack onto it. That would break the bridge and you have to go through the lower path, but we're fine now. I uh, don't think I want to hit any of these and it will just open for me yet. you got to be careful now. It's introducing that, you know, lasers aren't always the best thing. Okay. For this, we need a rocket, which we need some careful platforming with. That that log clearly came out of nowhere, but all right. Ooh, that was a bit iffy. Ugh. Probably the, this is the slowest part of the game. Genuinely, do you remember any slow moments in the levels? Like, I don't. There's never been another moment where we're waiting for a platform. That's really good in my opinion, like you can just keep moving forward. I mean, I guess, yes, the knuckle stages are quite slow. At the same time, you can run fast the whole time. You're not a slow character. You've just got a, a slightly boring gameplay that, you know, the, many fans don't like. But like, you have a big, large-ish enough area to run around and you run fast. It's quite nice. It's probably the best version of that gameplay style they could have done. The issue was with the gameplay style, not how they conducted it. Does that make sense? Directorially, they did great. Now these guys, these guys really annoy me, especially the guys who hide their heads away. What I end up doing is just going real close to them and like just mashing at them. 
just because eventually when you're that close range... Oh, I can't break these. Damn, alright, never mind. Um, I think the upgrade to break those steel things is from a level we've already done that we couldn't access? Maybe I missed it. You know, I don't know. Maybe we'll get it today. Who knows? But, um... What was I saying? Uh, about the normal levels, yeah, they, they did it as best they could. The gameplay issues was the problem, not the way it actually plays, if that makes any sense. Oh well. Um, if I did have another thing to say, it's not very relevant anymore. Um, I can't go that way, maybe I won't bother with it then. Oh, no, that's it. I usually get way close to the uh, guys that hide their heads, because eventually Tails will hit, like, uh, he'll do a physical attack with, like, the nose of his uh, okay. tornado, and that's what I used to defeat the guys. That was just unfortunate. Uh, all right, bye. I do like the beginning of this song, though. It's just drums. It's good. There we go. And get rid of all of you. No more gunshots my way, please. Thank you. And gosh, this controller is really giving me a hassle. It's, I don't know what it is. It's like it's unsensitive. Like it's not moving as much as I want it to or something. Like... My movements are very minimal. Yeah, look at that. Look at how much my tail is like shaking side to side. I'm tr if it was the GameCube controller, it'd be shaking way more. But like, it just doesn't happen. I don't know. Uh, this, this is the things I gotta compromise for when I'm not playing on the GameCube. I'm hoping soon enough I can uh, record GameCube games again. My main issue is I've got the same recording setup I've got for my GameCube as I've had in the past, but the gameplay comes out really blurry because of the device I'm using. So I'm probably going to end up just having to buy another uh, game capture device, but until then, I'll just play the games on other consoles. But otherwise, hopefully we'll get- Damn it! Back to that point soon. Dude! Alright, great. I need the camera to turn so I can do something. Oh, I guess I'll just take the lower path. That works too, I guess. Oh no, it's taking us up. Ooh, ooh, this might be it! This might be it! This might be where we get the thingy! If I can- the camera will not turn- oh, I have to be staying still for it to turn and then it neutralizes the moment I move again. Noted. Okay. I thought this would be where I could get the upgrade to break the steel boxes, but now it's just not turning at all. Great. All right. Never mind. There it is. Good lord. I apparently forgot where that was. The bazooka. Now you can break steel containers. Oh, lord. It just looks like bigger bullets now. That's about it. All right, let's not destroy everything in the dynamite. Hello, Big the Cat. You're having fun over there. Didn't actually know you were there. I'm not sure if I've ever gotten this far along the game when it's, uh, like, in this version, in this port. Because I don't remember Big the Cat, like, looking at Big the Cat out the window before. I only really remember him from the earlier levels. So, oh well. Please go higher. Do you think they had multiple different platforms that make you go up because their limit, like, their asset of them could only go so high? Maybe that's, like, where you have to jump rope to rope. Or maybe that's their excuse to make a little bit of gameplay out of it. Now here's a trap. This thing immediately goes flying down. So I try to... Oh, never mind. Maybe there's another There's another level somewhere, or another section of this level, maybe, where, like, there's a trap where a bridge will immediately drop the moment you touch it. Ah, uh, but it looks like it wasn't here. Oh, well. Ooh, hello. Dude, come on. Dude! I really don't like those guys. Not, not as Tails, at least. They're easy to fight in other forms, I think. Actually, even then, the enemies are might just be annoying outright. Okay, yeah, I know. I'm trying to do anything else. I wanted to get, like, an ultimate big combo, but apparently it wasn't an option. Okay. Yep, time to destroy the power supply. Let's shut down this machine by shooting down all of its little pellets. And with that, the goal is in sight. And that is all we're going to cover today, because we've technically done three levels. We've done Knuckles level, and then two bosses, which I'm basically counting as one level, next time. and then a Tails level. Two really long levels, and then bosses in between in cutscenes. Sorry, it happens. I'll see you next time for more Sonic Adventure 2. Okay, Sonic! Now put that emerald... <laughs> Tails! Tell Sonic to meet you back at the research facility. Sonic! Now. Amy is... I, I didn't get that, Tails. What happened to Amy? Tails!